that familiar feeling. We play Boston United in the playoff semi-final. We've been here before. Here we are then, Salford versus Boston. We've conceded five. It's 2-5. We now go away the to Boston. Bloody square pitch. Oh, well, we didn't think about that this. That is absolute bollocks. You can't play on a hockey pitch. I mean, are we going to have to play the song? Well, I mean, this is the most downbeat and playing of this. Anyway, I've ever it's seen. all over. Good luck to Boston in the final. But this time, the outcome must be different. Right then, there they are, there they sit. The season is not over. The, the the regular season, done with. The playoffs though, they begin right now. As you can see on the screen, Macclesfield are the opposition uh, in leg one. We are away from home and we come home in the second leg, which is perfect really because you get that home leg. If we can go away and do a job, perfect. Bring them back to our gaff, smash them up. That's, what, that's the plan anyway. Our form against Macclesfield this season was a, an away defeat and a home win. Now, if that it repeats itself, uh, we would we would we would go out. I, think, I don't know if away goals count. Do away goals count? Looking at the rules, I don't think away goals matter. They don't matter. Good, I think. So, the rules have been covered. The opposition have been covered. Let's find out the team for today. Now, luckily for me, we are at as full strength as we can possibly be. Jed Steer in goal, Parker, Anna, the fire at the back, Thomas, Burridge, Willock, Madison with Nicholas just in front, Hitchcock and Aluko, the front two, the partnership that has scored, how many is that now? 61 goals this season in all the competitions, miraculous. And obviously the key man, Jeff Thomas, can he cause mayhem against Macclesfield today? Let's find out. Right then, two games, a couple of semi-finals, boom. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like the Rocky theme tune would be perfect for this situation. Right, team selection. Team has been submitted. submitted. Uh, we apparently are the favourites for the game, which makes me nervous because <laughs> now you know. We have got the top two goal scorers in the entire league. They don't have a single chap in here at all. Marvellous news. Uh, 13 to 8 are they. 6 to 4 favourites. Come on, boys. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 uh, formation. Fascinating. Right, the team talk so far. I'm going to tell them I'm calmly saying I've got faith. It's unlike me. Right, we're starting attacking. Away from home. Front foot. Come on. I just don't want to mess this up, really. Away from home. I feel like our squad is better than theirs. Prove it. <laughs> Corner kick. Thomas, first chance of the game towards Parker. Probably going to be booted clear if we can win that. We've not won that. Gould now. Threw on goal, sort of. Shoots from there, well wide. First real shot for them. Uh, we've had three so far. Three on target. Haven't been shown any of them. So they're a mystery to me and to you. Okay, time is ticking down. We've had a lot of uneventful first halves recently. I'm not entirely sure where that was. Obviously, last time... Oh, hold on. Excuse my words. Willock now, with it coming forward. Out to Madison on this left-hand side. Men in the middle. Hitchcock back post. Hitchcock. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. And it's cleared for a corner, which I'm assuming Jeff Thomas will take. He will indeed. Thomas whips the ball and Parker's there. Out to uh, Sonny Aluko. Sonny Aluko. Oh, didn't, yeah, didn't quite get the shot and goal. Thomas into the box. Thomas. Oh, blocked. I'm, I'm all over the shop. My words are just struggling. Okay, looks like the half will probably end at nil-nil, which is okay. Again, the away team, this is their advantage. They're at home first leg. They want to be doing something. We've got to be very cautious that our key men don't pick up injuries and keep a close eye on that. So far, though, so good. As we go into the second half, all square. Come on, one goal. If we take a solitary lead. Last time, first leg in the playoffs, you saw it. We cocked it up somewhat. The second leg became pointless. Not today. Not today. Time winds down. 15 or so seconds left to go. What we're going to do is we're going to bring... Oh, no, I can't really bring anyone on. This is our best team. Stick with them. Trust them. Thomas, free kick. Ball in. The fire was there. Now we're going to get there first. Parker just about makes it. And now it's going to be picked up by Madison. Face it forward to Burridge. Burridge, if we can get Thomas unleashed on this right-hand side, I feel like we'll have a good chance of success. The fire. Gives it to Thomas now. He's very deep, though. Not much he can do from there. Lovely ball into Willock, though. And we could split the defence here. Hitchcock takes on this man. Shot a goal. Simon Thomas, the uh, Sky Sports news presenter, makes the save. Good for him. Okay, Time whittling down, as I say, a nil-nil. Although, oh, hold the phone. Madison. Oh, Nicholas. Oh, he's, well, he was beaten to the ball or something happened there. I wasn't quite sure. Now it looks like they could have a chance, maybe. Macclesfield, they've done nothing all game. One shot on target. <gasps> okay, it was offside. Danny Whitehead hits the bar. Three minutes or so to go here. Salford. Oh, no. Okay, that should be time, actually. I thought I was panicked there, but it should probably be time up. Okay, it is. Macclesfield nil. Salford nil. 
for me, that's a decent result. Not too disappointed by that at all. Right. Okay. The game ends. Everyone seems pretty happy. Fitness-wise, we look okay. We go into the second leg. Oh, boy. They had one shot on target. Elsewhere, Blackpool, Stockport, drew nil-nil. So, interesting times. Or inspiring a Luco. What? He drew nil-nil? What did he do that was all inspiring apart from... I mean, I don't actually know what he did. I don't think he did anything. Okay then, viewers. Welcome back. Second game of the episode. We take a nil-nil into this leg. Away goals mean nothing, so if they score, don't worry about it. The team for today then, exactly the same team as we put out in the first leg. Uh, Steer, Parker, Anna, Fire, Thomas, Burridge, Willock, Madison, Nicholas, Hitchcock and Aluka up front. Failed to score in that first game. We're going to start in standard and then switch to attacking uh, when we've got a bit of control on the game, or at least we're at a point where I feel like we're comfortable. Um, hopefully we go into this in high spirits. Obviously we've not won in a little while now. Uh, our end of season form is a little bit patchy, so we've not won in two. Uh, time though to put that right assertively say i've got faith in you and hopefully this will do the trick right everyone looks happy or motivated everyone looks happy or motivated and everyone else listened keenly that's what that is that's how you listen keenly you get really close to the listen right a little bit concerned about the fitness of a few players but we seem to be okay on the surface of things uh, obviously they're gonna have they're gonna be in the same situation their best players are gonna be equally tied you think um Maybe I could have changed one or two, but I'm trusting in the boys we've got out there today as, uh, as Thomas picks it up and knocks it back to steer. This is really the first highlight, and it's it's strange that it's come to my goalkeeper. Luco knocks it on. Hitchcock nearly on a goal. And Hitchcock is on a goal. Hitchcock, there we go. Lovely finish. Him and Luco combine. I thought the chance was completely gone, and then Hitchcock on hand to put it in. It's definitely on side, isn't it? Okay, the, the assistant was still, and it made me nervous. Let's look at that in three dimensions. I mean, that's that's going to be a phrase. Three dimensions. I mean, it's, that's already a phrase. It's already a thing. 3D's been outrageous. Aluko heads it through then. Hitchcock, one touch out of his feet. And as he's done all season, calmly puts it home to the centre of the goal. The fans in the... Lots of fans in the in the, in the ground today. Uh, delighted with that goal. So far, 26 minutes gone. One shot, one on target, one goal. The fact it was me means I don't really care. Come on. We've not been to a final <laughs> because we messed it up last time. This has been a very, very interesting game. Corner kick. Thomas puts it in. Parker. Anna. Oh, my word. Off the line. Good defending, I guess. We've not really been in the game that much. We're coming to, we're coming into it towards the end of the half, but not too much has happened. Okay. At half time, 1-0. Fitness-wise, we seem okay. I'm not overly concerned. I guess at some point we could make a couple of changes maybe to freshen things up. I'm thinking bringing Capend on uh, or wearing. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, Team Talk's gone well. Second half, upstairs we are. What I'm going to do actually is get their formation on my screen. Okay, just want to be aware if they make any sort of major changes. If they start putting two up top, that's something I've got to consider. Okay, they're coming forward. Macclesfield, as I say, not really been in the game all that much so far. Ball played in. <sighs> it's offside. Bloody hell. It was a good ball in as well. Okay, maybe a chance for us. Nicholas, can he turn his man? Oh, that looks like a foul. Paul Turnbull already on a booking. That could be it. He could have thrown it away for them. Second yellow, and he's off. Red card, double change by them as well. They've lost their right winger. Why was he putting the left back spot? I don't understand. Unless they've just changed it round, which is probably more likely. Okay, not long left to go. 20 minutes or so. They've made a change. They're, they're left side. Do you know what? I'm going to try and exploit their left flank because they've only got one man down there. Why not? Madison can be wicked down there. And then Thomas on the other side. Great balance. Final 20 minutes. I think we're going to... Oh, Luco's had a good game, actually. We're going to take a Luco off and bring a pen on. I just think that extra little bit of pace on the left side could cause them lots of problems. 15 minutes or so to go. Hold on, boys. There's a chance. Jed Steer fires it up towards that left side in fact and now Willock if we can get Madison involved Hitchcock on it now Capen's further ahead of him Thomas on this right hand side Thomas ball in does so Hitchcock close range and good save by the goalkeeper keeping them in this game at this point the fire doesn't get there and now well the fire did get there and then they kicked it forward out of play the time is ticking down ever so much a play <gasps> Burridge is injured there's only one man I can bring on in the playoff semi-final number six Andy Tannoy and Andy Tannoy replacing Tom Burridge Andy Tannoy bloody hell and Andy Tannoy's not actually that good anymore I love him but it's not right Tannoy corner kick ball in oh can you imagine if he'd got himself an assist in this game Tannoy lays it off to Nicholas Nicholas now tackled there's about 30 seconds to go they're going to have to score right now if they want to stay in this it doesn't seem that likely Simon Thomas with the ball at his feet you've got to expect it's going to go, uh, go long but we win the header perfect Hitchcock now 20 seconds or so to go Capend I guess that was them clearing it out throw in time's nearly up and that's time he's blown the whistle Salford one Macclesfield nil and we go through to the playoff final which I assume is at Wembley I, I think it definitely is but I guess we'll double check that a Wembley final Tom Hitchcock with the goal the injuries to Tom Burridge obviously a concern we're going to have to see how he is and we will face Stockport who blitzed Blackpool 4-0 okay 
calm to the final we go oh there it is then confirmation Salford one Macclesfield nil the red card really dashed their hopes Stockport with a 4-1 uh, sorry 5-1 win overall uh, against Blackpool so we'll face them in the final a team that we beat towards the end of the season so relatively confident about that um, Tom Burridge is out for 12 to 15 days we could make him play on he'll only be available for light training and matches he'll get protective, uh, protective equipment for two weeks for 500 quid he was playing through the injury I mean, Herbie Kane and Andy Tannoy are the men that will play instead of him. It's tricky. I think we're going to leave it to the physio. I'm not going to risk him. I'm not going to try. And... I don't know. I think. Play through your injury. <laughs> Bodies on the line. So there it is then. That is the final at Wembley Stadium on the 16th. So we get seven day recovery, which is perfect. Stockport County versus Salford. That will be the next episode. And I cannot wait. I'll see you there soon. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Let's aim for that thousand like target. If you've enjoyed it, as I say, drop it now. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And from me, Dr. Benji, until next time at Wembley Stadium, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. We're on our way to Wembley. Na 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 na